typical of the villages that dot our countryside. It is a quiet village where a folk happening, as the one you have just seen, is commonplace. Agriculture is the main occupation of the 1900 people of the Kumana area. Our program tonight deals with an organization that is performing a vital role in that community at grassroots level. It is the Kumana Agricultural Cooperative Credit Society. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, it is a pleasure for me to be here with you this afternoon and um, I am extremely happy to see so many of you. Uh, your very presence here this evening would indicate your interest into the society. Uh, because of the fact this is our last executive meeting just before our annual general meeting. Uh, so, uh, with this few remarks, I will just call on the secretary manager to give us a report for the time ending 1971. Mr. Chairman, members, I wish to state that the period July 1970 to June 1971 has been a profitable year, and we can report to all members that our society is now in a very strong financial position. I will now give you details. The Kumana Agricultural Credit Cooperative Society has had a profitable year for the term 1970-71. To find out more about the history of this society, I spoke to members of its executive. Your name, sir? Simeon Batis. Could you tell me something about the history of this society? This society is as a result of four other societies merging together with Kumana Agricultural Credit Society and took over the name Kumana Agricultural Credit Society. What were the societies which this cooperative took over? They were the Waima Society, the Besson Village Society, the Allendale Society, Angley Road, Society and the Kumana Society. What post do you hold in the society at the moment? The post of secretary manager. And what is the membership of your society like? The membership is 130 members. And what your assets are like? Uh, something around $12,000. Does this include the building that we are in? Yes, it does. Now, I see that you have quite a bit of cocoa around. Could you tell me whether all your members are cocoa farmers? All the members are not cocoa farmers. For instance, we have copra here also, and uh, we have people with coconut estates, and we have people who do things like beekeeping and uh, poultry rearing, people who keep cows and uh, one or two goats and on the whole, most of the farmers in the area have vegetable gardens. From your report, I see that the society operates in several areas. Could you tell me something about your loans operation? Uh, the loan is a very important service that this society renders. Without money, most of the farmers would not be able to get the the benefit of their labor as far as the produce is concerned for lack of capital. Therefore, the Agricultural Development Bank had made it possible that the agricultural societies can always obtain a loan. And that loan is given as um, sometimes a short-term loan or medium-term loan or maybe a long-term loan. What are these loans used for? Well. 
these loans should be used for productive purposes. The, the farmer is given uh, these loans on condition that he utilizes the money to uh, put his lands and sometimes his buildings like a cuckoo house and so forth in a good position so that he would be better economically. Now another area of your operations is that of purchasing or shall I call it marketing. Could you tell me how this operates? Well, um, <coughs> we get the produce from the farmers. As you would see, we have here at present cocoa, we have copra, and um, sometimes we have shell corn. Well, these different products come from the farmer. They prepare them as they reap them from the fields. They carry them to their drying houses. And from there, they send them to this marketing center, uh, which is the society. Sometimes these crops are not properly uh, put up as far as the state for marketing is concerned. And we have a dryer where we complete the drying operation. And after we bag them up and um, send them to the Trinidad, at least we send the cocoa and coffee to the Trinidad and Tobago Cocoa and Coffee Cooperative. The copra we send to another firm that engages in the manufacture of oil and soap, etc. Are your purchases cash purchases? Yes, we pay an advance um, amount in cash to our farmers. And um, when the products are sold, well, a final payment would be made. Apart from that, there is the patronage dividend by members who patronize the society, getting just what they, um, they should have. Because, for instance, if a man doesn't patronize as much as another, he would not be able to get the same amount of patronage um, dividend that the man who patronizes more gets. This, I believe, encourages everybody to patronize the society. I next spoke to Joseph Lewis, president of the society, and asked him about some of the problems which the Kumana Society had. Joe, can you tell us something about the problems which your society experiences in this area? Yes, for instance, right now we suffer from space. Uh, banking and transportation roads do you have a problem with predial lassie no that is not so prevalent among us here if i go back a little bit your secretary stated that this building belonged to you all why is the building posing a problem now well because of um since we start marketing uh purchasing our members produce we find ourselves very confused um, through the lack of space. We would also need more drying facilities and so on. So you see, uh, under those conditions, I think we, we need a lot of space now. And with regard to transport, what is the problem with transport? Well, we haven't our own vehicle. We have to depend on somebody else. And um, sometimes when we're ready to market, we don't get them to come and so on. So I think um, uh, a vehicle will do us quite a good now. Do you think that the society can afford to operate a vehicle profitably? Yes, I think so. For, for the, uh, the support we get now from members of the society and members of the public, I think we will be able to operate a vehicle. You mentioned roads. Do these include roads and traces? Yes. Uh, the roads are in very bad condition and the traces need um, developing and uh, proper maintenance. About banking, are there no banks, no banking facilities in this area? No. I observe that the TN Tech people have a mobile office where you pay your bills. Have you all approached any of the banks in Port of Spain, for instance, to perhaps provide this type of service? Well, no, the idea never really came to us.
But you think a weekly service will be of use oh, to you? Oh, yes, oh, yes, I think so, very good. How many times a week you think this service well, should operate? Uh, possibly once per week. I think you should pass here once per week. I next spoke to Carol Joseph, Assistant Secretary of the Society. Carol, can you tell me what your duties are with the Society? My duties as Assistant Secretary with the Society is to write the minutes, and when the Secretary Manager is out, run the business until he returns, such as buying members' produce and assisting in sales. I see that you have insecticides on sale. Do you sell any other type of stuff to the farmers? Yes, we sell almost everything the farmer requires, such as boots, ropes, seeds, cutlasses, hoes, lucia, cocoa knife, etc. Does the farmer gain from buying these supplies from you? Yes, the farmer gains from buying the supplies because all profits that is made, it is returned to them as dividends. I next visited a pig farmer who is a member of the society. Your name? Veronica Derrick. How long have you been a member of this society? Over a year now. And how many pigs do you have? Thirteen pigs. What type of pigs do you mind? Large white and boxers. Has the society been of any use to you? Yes. Do you care to tell me in what way? By getting the feed nearer to my home. Where did you get the feed from before? From at Toko and at Sandigani. Mm -hmm. Do you propose to expand your business? Yes. How many pigs do you intend to mine next year? About 20. Okay, thank you very much. Another member of the society is Theodore Pritchard, who is a mixed farmer. His main concern is poultry. And I, and I asked him these questions. How long have you been a member of this society? 21 years. <coughs> what society did you belong to before the, the, the amalgamation? I was belonged to the Angle Road Agricultural Credit Society. And what is your main concern? My main concern is poultry rearing. How many birds do you have? Presently, I have 150 birds. Are these all layers? No, they are divided in three sections. 50 layers, 50 pullets not yet laying, and 50 broiler chicks. And to whom do you market your poultry? Well, the broilers have been marketed locally. The eggs are marketed, part of it is marketed locally and the other part is marketed in Port of Spain. Has the society been of any help to you? Yes, society has been of much help to me. Could you tell us in what way? Well, uh, particularly in the field of poultry rearing. As a small man, I began very small and by borrowing from the society and repaying annually, I was able to increase my stock gradually up to the present state. Do they supply you with feed? The cooperative presently supply me with feed. Theodore, have you any plans for the future? Yes, I have plans for the future. I intend to expand. How do you propose to do this? Well, I propose to do it to the same method that I began with, borrowing from the society and repaying them at the end of the year. How many birds do you propose to increase by? I intend to increase by, presently, let's see, 150 now. I intend to double that amount, making it 300. And you think that the local market is increasing so yes. that you'll be able to repay this loan? Yes.
Alexander Samson is a proprietor. And he has been a member of this society for more than 12 years. I asked him this question. Alec, can you tell me whether this society has been of any benefit to you? Yes, the society has been benefited to me in the forms of granting loans to me and uh, by I selling my produce through the society. Let us take the first one, loans. What do you do with the loans when you get them? Well, I utilize the money to assist me in maintaining my estate. And in the case of marketing, what benefits do you get by selling to the society? Well, when I sell my produce through the society, at the end of the year, I receive a dividend from the produce sold to the society. Do you find that the society has been helpful in any other ways? Yes. Many things that you may have to purchase otherwise, you get it at a cheaper rate when you buy it from the society. So that you would recommend to fellow farmers that they should join a cooperative society? Yes, because it is very helpful. It is economical. Thank you very, very much, and sorry that we have taken up so much of your time. From the estates, produce such as copra, coffee, nutmegs, and cocoa are sold to the cooperative. At the cooperative, each consignment is weighed and carefully sampled for quality to determine an immediate cash payment to the farmer. At some later date, an additional payment will be made to him. Produce such as coffee, opera and cocoa can need further attention. This is carried out at the society's compound. Such an operation ensures conformity with local as well as international standards. Finally, the produce is rebagged, weighed, and then transported to Port of Spain for sale to exporters and local manufacturers.